Hi, my name's Danny. I'm Annie. And this is our daughter. Hi. We're from a project called We Be Kids, where we create resources to help families get out into nature to improve their well-being. We're working with Woodlands to bring you a series of short films to show you things that you can do whilst you're out in the woods. Today, we are going to make some woodcraft dragonflies. But before we begin, we need to forage and find some wood. So the first thing that we're going to do is find the dragonfly's body. To do that, we're going to forage a big stick. Now you can use all different sizes. Today, we're going to use a stick that's about a metre long. We're also going to need four twigs, twice the size of the body. Along with the natural materials, you're also going to need a few tools. We have a pair of secateurs, a palm drill, a screwdriver, a pruning saw, a couple of screws, some natural twine and a pair of scissors. We also found a stick that is about the same size as a 10 pence piece. We're going to use this to make the eyes on the dragonfly and we're going to do that by just cutting two discs that are about as thick as a little fingernail. So we're going to take our screwdriver and our screw and we're just going to put the screw through the eye before we attach it to the main stick. So we're just going to hold it by the stick and continue screwing until it holds in place. And we're going to do that with the other eye as well. Next we're going to make the wings. We're going to begin by softening the long twigs. We're using lime stems because that's what we have available but any fresh growth which is bendy will do. Hazel and willow is particularly good. Smaller people may soften the twigs over their lap, but adults can possibly use their thumbs and just work their way across like so. So once your long branch is soft and supple and can be bent without snapping, we're just gonna bring the thin end to the thick end like so to make the wing. It's really important at this point that you join the thin end at a place in the stick that is the same thickness as your palm drill. That's because this bit here is gonna go into the body. We're gonna take the piece of twine just going to place it underneath where both the, the sticks meet. It's important at this point that we leave a tail here and you'll see why in a moment. We're then going to take the long end and we're just going to wrap it around, keeping it nice and tight to bind these two ends of the stick together. And once we get to the end, we're just going to use that tail and just tie a really simple overhand knot. And we're going to repeat that four times for each of the wings. Now that we've got our four wings, it's time to attach them to the body. So we're back with the dragonfly's body. We're going to go about a third of the way down the body and on the side we're going to take our palm drill and we're going to make two holes. When we have our two holes we're going to take the wing, we're going to take the thick end and we're just going to place it directly into the hole. We're going to do the same for the other hole on this side and then two holes on the other side as well. So with all four wings attached 
we have a wonderful woodcraft dragonfly ready to take to the skies through the forest. So we hope that you've enjoyed watching us make those dragonflies. We'd love to see some of yours too. Have as much fun in the woods as we have. Thanks for stopping by. See you again.